Hey everybody, welcome to Forza Horizon 5. Now, there is a brilliant reason why I'm driving this fantastic Ferrari 250, and we're going to go and check that out right now. And this is the reason. We've got the Ferrari something, let me just wait for it to scroll back around again. There we go, the Ferrari number 25 course clean... clean uh, 488 challenge. I have butchered that entirely. Anyway, this thing starts out stock with 661 horsepower, 561 foot-pounds of torque, and weighs 3,204 pounds. And today, we're going to go take a look at it. So, for manufacturer colours, it only comes in just one, but it does look absolutely fantastic. And I believe this also has a bit of GT3 history. If somebody in the comments wants to let me know what it did for that, please do go ahead and let me know what races it raced in and how well it did. Because, honestly, I'm actually really curious. And here it is. Let's go ahead and take a listen to it quickly. That sounds really, really nice. Okay, firstly, conversion. What can we do to this thing? We can have a couple of engine swaps, a racing V12 and a 3, no, 6.3 litre V12 hybrid. I'll probably come back to the hybrid. But for now, we're going to go ahead and keep this thing actually rear wheel drive. We're going to take it to, I want to say about mid s2 i'm not quite too sure but so uh, we can't do anything about the tires because they come on full racing slick stock so i guess what we can do is at least make them a little bit wider 355s at the back and we'll probably go with something like a 325 no 315 at the front and let's see we'll probably go and check the brakes if we can upgrade those no we can't have uh, we can make it lighter so we'll do that and let's see, suspension, we cannot change anything about that. Is there anything we can do to this car? Ah, yes, we can go for a few gearboxes, okay then. We'll upgrade the race driveline, and we'll go for a, never mind, it's already on a race diff. Okay, we'll probably just race it like this, and then we'll come back and check out all of the different customization options and stuff we can do to it. Is there a difference between this? Yep, there is. Okay, we're going to leave it at that, we're going to go do a race, and then we'll come back and take a full look at just what you can do to this thing. So here we are at the start of the Descenso Dorado Sprint, which is basically going to become our new uh, normal usual drift track for this, so let's go and get rid of all the wheel spin, because there is a lot in this thing, and we'll go and see just what place this can hold. So if we go and make our way past the field, if we can. Okay, this thing is actually really nice. Because off the start, it actually handles super, super well, which is always fantastic in a car like this. Plus, it is, you know, again, a GT3 car, so I'm kind of, I would be surprised if it wasn't uh, stable or drove nice. That's a van. Just go past the van, excuse me very much. Brake! Might have... Sorry. <laughs> so, slight murdering of a Vol side. Let's go and uh, keep racing this, shall we? Because at the moment, it is actually feeling really, really nice through these corners. It's interesting that it starts up in S2 uh, as stock, S2911, which is not too bad, but it is also very surprising. But I think what's also surprising is the fact that you can take this thing back under S1 just by throwing on a different pair of tyres. Anyway, let's keep on racing and let's go and see. I know it's probably going to finish in first, but how big of a gap we're going to have by the end of this. That's a wall. And there we are, all sorted across the line in a first with just a time of 1 minute 50.577. Not too bad. I've not been keeping track of what cars fastest around here though, so comments do your thing. And just because we can, here's how it sounds stock out in the open. I tell you what, didn't that sound nice? And I loved how the interior looked as well. Now, this is probably going to make a lot of people very mad at me, but it's not going to be for too long, because we're making this thing all-wheel drive, and we're going to go and probably go and swap in this. The 6.3 litre V12 hybrid engine. And of course, we're going to go twin turbo it, and build this thing up to be our drag car. So, now we have over 1,400 and something brake horsepower in this car. Still can't translate what that Super 7 is. Anyway, let's go ahead and drag race this thing in three, Two. Ah, who needs numbers? Let's go! Off the line we go, let's try and see what speed we can get through the camera. Now the one thing that I do want to uh, add to this is that both the front and rear aero are stock and tunable, which is honestly very, very good indeed. And that was 205 through the camera, which is not bad at all. 
Next up, I'm going to go throw some road tyres back on this thing, and we're going to go and take it out to the motorway and find out what its top speed is. So here we are now at the edge of the motorway with our Ferrari, so we're going to go ahead and floor it and see just what top speed we can get out of this thing, because it's got 1,400 brake horsepower, or we'll drive the proper tyres for it, it looks like it's trying to take off, hopefully it doesn't do what an old Mercedes did, because otherwise that'd be not good. But, oh god, it did worse. Coming out of the speed zone, it's done 263 miles an hour, which is not bad. But now we go to everyone's favourite route, which is the downhill section. Or well, maybe it's not your favourite bit, I, I really don't know. Let me know in the comments. And here we go, through the camera at 271. Downhill, 272, 273, 274, can we get 275? Nearly, but not quite, we're just at 274, which for this thing really is not bad in the slightest. Now the next bit that we've got to try and do is to make this thing drift somehow, because that's usually what we do over here on the channel when we're checking out new cars. We're going to make sure if they can race, if they can drag race, at top speed, and if they can drift. This could be fun. Or terrifying. Or both! Alright, so here we go into the drift zone, so it's still running the exact same tuning as it was just two seconds ago. Let's see what it can do. 39,000. On the first attempt. I'm lost for words. That's actually really, really good. Okay, let's go again for attempt number two, which should be its uh, second and only other attempt this thing will get, which is going back the other way. Can it do any? Nope. It can find the ball, which is not what it's meant to do, but oh well, 37,000, so not too bad. But with a lot of tuning, this thing could honestly actually be really, really good at this indeed. And honestly, I actually love this thing. It is incredibly grippy when it's tuned right, and this could make for quite a fantastic S2 race build. Honestly, if you want one of these things, go ahead and get it if you have the car pass, because it is available for this week. Honestly, just look at it going through here, it is so fast. That's fantastic. Also, side note, it does come on the car pass, but it does not come in bright pink, you've got to add that yourself. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed and if you have, feel free to go ahead and press that like button, and also share the video, it helps out the channel an absolute ton. And if you're new here, feel free to go ahead and press subscribe, and the best bit is, doing that is completely free, you do not pay a single penny. And also, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment, I love to read them, and try to apply to as many as I possibly can. And with that said, thank you very very much for watching, I will go ahead and see you all in the next video. Tech, out. I nearly went flying back through that ramp the other way. Okay then.